Hi there, so I'm just going to show you um, how to achieve what you need with the uh, new Cabinet 3D and uh, Vectorworks Centurio CAD 2018. So I'm just going to place the cabinet and it's going to change the um, number of drawers I have to three. I'm going to just shift the, um, the handle to the center so that you can be sure to actually drill through both the drawer front and the uh, front of the the drawer proper. And copy and paste that in. Give this uh, some form of material, some material, um, yeah, white melamin, that'll do, that'll do nicely. Um, so that's your cabinet. And I'm just gonna just place some drawers in here, some wooden drawers. Um, yeah, let's go for 150 height. That should do with a uh, with a bloom draw slide. And we'll do this three times. And again. And, uh, and we're done. Right. Now, as you can see, um, the handle that we're currently using um, only has um, one drilling. And that drilling, well, let's actually look at this from the side view. And that drilling only goes through the 19 millimeter front. In your case, it'll be 18 millimeters, but that doesn't matter. And we also have a 13 millimeter front for the um, drawer box. So we need to add one drilling. And we can find the, the, uh, the handle in the document. It, it gets imported by Interior CAD automatically. So right click it, edit 3D component, and look at um, the anatomy of this this handle, it's uh, a group, and inside that group you will find another group and the drillings or millings, whichever type of handle that you have. Now, I'm just gonna copy, paste in place and move these by 19 millimeters. Um, if you look at the info palette, you can see that they've been set to drill through, so it doesn't really matter what their depth is. Um, they will adjust to the thickness of the material that they uh, drill through. So we've just doubled the the amount of drillings in this in this handle, exit the group, and nothing's happened yet. If you look at this, you have to reset your your cabinet. Just press OK. Don't do anything, and now you see that we have an additional drilling that um, goes through both parts. Okay, um, there you go. You can actually do this for any part. This is why I recommend being on the latest version and using the latest interior CAD because you can actually place drillings wherever you like. You can place one here, uh, diameter 68, say, drill through, and uh, to make it visible, we'll just change to 3D details. So now the cabinet is remodeled and everything, um, the, the coverings, the edge banding, etc., is shown. You see that there's no edge, band, edge banding on the on the sides here and there's edge banding all around the fronts and you can actually see the material um, of the core material the texture of the core material here <clears throat> that's what we call um, production realism and you can just drag and drop these just hold alt or if you're on on a pc hold uh, command uh, control sorry and you can do this you can take this even further by um well let me um, let me see, I think I need this, yes, uh, don't want to see that, okay, so I want, I want an opening in the, on, in the side, and I can just convert this to contour, and, uh, then, um, give it a depth of, say, 20, and that will open up my side, and, uh, I can, again, I can just, drag and drop this, resize it using the mouse, um, like so. And uh, let's now export this to CNC by going to Interior CAD Export and NC Export. The current layer will do. And uh, I've um, chosen Woodwop. Um, you can maybe, we can just have a quick look. You can choose DXF as well if, if you don't have any of these. These are European point-to-point -point routers. Don't know where you're based. Um, uh, DXF will always do. That's a, specific, a specifically designed DXF with uh, tools converting to layers. 
and um, you can uh, in interface with just about any machine that you like with, with this output. I'm just going to use Woodwop for the Wiki Hallmark machines and um, just export that. And here we go. So this is my, um, these are my, my programs and I'm just going to show you, this is the draw front. So I'm just going to drag and drop this just, just to show you that's the draw front. And then you have the draw, um, that's the cabinet drawer front, and this is the wooden drawer front. Um, so this is the corresponding inside bit of the drawer. So you can see the um, the millings here that you need to fit the sliders in, and you can see the um, the the dado in the in the in the bottom, and you can see the the extra drillings that we've just added. So if we look at the cabinet top. Um, it is so that's the that's the um the top with the three dr drillings so i hope that helped thank you